I just wanted to show the uh, track fender that I had made here. Um, just using some roller bearings with a little lip on it, some wood and some uh, slotted, uh, slotted wood that I can use to adjust this. Anyways, I need to make a custom 14 inch radius curve and I can only buy down to 15 inch. So I made a drawing of what I needed and then using this I'm able to get the track to bend to the 14 inch radius or close enough so that when I tack it down it will be 14 inch. Um, Basically what I did was I started with a piece of track. I like to bend with the flexible track, the, the moving track on the outside. I know there's a lot of debate about that. Some people do in, some people do out. I like it on the outside because that way you can keep opening. Works if you do on the inside, it can only close so far. So anyways, I uh, set it up on here, put some clamps to hold it, and I use this to tap it, you know, make it a little tighter, tap it, make it a little tighter. And now I have it to where I can make 14 inch radius curves. So I've already made two of them. This is going to be the third one that I'm making. And basically all it is is that rolling it through the bearings, it's bending the track. Now I have to be careful at the ends here so that they don't fall out. I'm getting it pretty close to the end, but not all the way to the end. And now I'm going to roll it back the other way. All the way once again near the end and this does fall off sometimes especially on the first bend where it's a little bit harder so I'm just getting this to the end and once again trying to make sure that the track doesn't fall off at the end and I'll show you how to do the ends in a little bit there's no way to get it all the way to the end but for what I need close enough and you can always cut off the end if it's if it's not uh, curved enough for you um, so anyways I've run this back back and forth one time. I'll finish this one right away. So I ran this back and forward. I can use a piece of foam to hold this up. And you can see it does a pretty good job of matching a 14 inch radius curve. So now let me show you how to do the ends. Over here, the outer track is at the end already. The inner track has still got a straight spot on it. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the end and take it off. Then what I need to do is I need to get this to where the outer track is longer than the inner track. Let me get that a little bit longer. Um, maybe about like that. Then I put it back on here like so. And then when I run it, this is going to bend. This is the part that wasn't bent at all. And now, even that part will be bent. And like I said, if it's not good enough for you, you can always, you know, cut the track. I know that there are people that use benders and they cut the end of it off. Um, this is good enough for my purpose, for what I need. I'm going to be building some uh, custom turnarounds. And I'll, and I'll have those on another video so you can see what they are. But uh, once again, the idea is to just put a little bit of a curve on there, and I'll do the same thing on the other end. All right, so Thanks. here's some details on the track bender. Like I said, just three pieces of wood. This was some scrap wood. Um, tongue and grooved it so that the pieces would stay together. So you see the uh, tongue and groove a little bit better. Those are roller bearings, and those are toilet bowl uh, bolts. And the reason why I use those is because they have the nice uh, flat head, so makes it easier to roll the track um, once again it was just you know get the track in between there you know I did have to use a hammer to pound this through eventually I'll make something to where it has some kind of a uh, bolt or something that I can turn to you know loosen or tighten it and then once again here is the track that I bent so there was the target piece um, this is a 30 the target here is 31 and a half inches and you can see I got pretty close as far as making that 31 and a half inches. So I'll try and get the uh, um, some marks on here so I can tell you know about what radius turn it would make. But uh, I did a pretty good job of making the uh, the radius that I was uh, looking for.